Hello and welcome to my new Blender car modeling tutorial and right now we're gonna continue UV unwrapping this model but before we go I want to tell you that after taking a few careful look looks uh, whatever uh, I noticed that it would actually work better if you don't make the edge or don't make it sharp clear the sharp from there uh, I just compared to the real life scenes and you can see it's it's almost fluid there I don't know probably yes probably I'm gonna actually make all of those to actually be just simple textures okay this cursor okay I like this so yeah that's one of the things that I noticed it's actually something like this the real car just just uh, like in increment there but it's not it's not so it's not sharp there it's like this okay great um, next step we're gonna keep unwrapping things and probably let's get to the roof now um again let's go ahead okay maybe not yet maybe there are some parts with less detail first the rear hot hood hot hood whatever Okay, let's find some. Let's find some reference with good rear, rear view. They all have those wings, which all referenced in them. Um, this one doesn't have good enough rear view. But okay, probably we can use this one now. Though this one has a wing. Firstly, okay, let's examine. We have edge split here, going all, all through, and then we have edge split there, and then sign as well is edge splitted. Let's remove doubles again. Let's see, probably the outer part, yeah. Okay, mark sh sharp. Yes, it is. Pretty complex geometry down there. I have almost forgotten it. Okay, mark sharp. And lastly, this is also a sharp thing. And uh, now let's add edge split modifier and sharp edges only okay yeah I think it has no more sharp beams and basically here's not much to do with those UVs except for a fact that we're gonna make around edges um, I don't know about lamps so maybe not around them. yeah not around the lamps but everywhere else we're gonna use this UV again this map or the whole part is of course it applies to everything like this because here's a little split and we must take it in account we must take in account this split okay so 
Let's get those all. What about the what about the Windows sides? Probably we're probably we're gonna use it for Windows as well. Although we didn't use here, but we will after setting this up we'll set it up here as well. Oh and before I forget uh, once ahead maybe if I remember we'll also make tutorial I'll make one more model tutorial I just noticed that I'd like to make those uh, wind clean uh, I don't know how they're called actually in English yeah those those things used for cleaning windows some locally stuff there not much complex CVT. Okay, you reset. Now select inverse. You. No. Okay. Uh, you reset. Let's select the uh, normal map. Scale 0.25. And as you can see, it's again not scaling correctly, so I'll use 2D cursor scale 0.25. GY minus 0.375 GX minus 0.375 Again select um, Inverse Scale 0.5 Scale 0.5 again actually GY 0.375 GX minus 0.125 Now let's get to each part separately So Actually, we can switch to medium point now. Uh, so, firstly, those all have it just inverse. Uh, 180. Those got it facing this way. Or 90. Fixed. Yeah. Why don't they match their they were supposed to because the edges do match <laughs> interesting ok, this is not much of a problem this one is inverse R180 this one R90 ah, uh, sorry R90 not where you need. R minus 90. Where is it? It's there. Okay. GX minus 0.25. R 90. Okay. R minus 90. Yeah, this is basically it. Okay. Now. Those ones are, I think, opposite. R 180. Yeah, okay. This is one of the corners. GY minus 0.5. R90. R180. And we've got it correct. Where else do we have a corner? We had corner. Corner, corner, corner. Here. GY minus 0.5. Um. R minus 90 you got it right and just a few more details here um, yeah I'm not again what if I just said that I can't mix though or possibly I could if I placed it like this okay I'll leave it just uh, but yeah uh, here however and here and here I'm gonna actually do GY.75 GX.25 This one is faced correctly R minus 90 and this one um, R90 R minus 90 okay GX minus 0.25 R minus 90 Great. And we've got it unwrapped actually. I think it's 
it's basically done okay uh, what else could we unwrap right now maybe the reader bumper actually let's firstly do the required edge splits and I'm gonna add additional edge split there now so let's just mark everything that's supposed to be sharp so what else we've got here am I doing it correct? yes I am so let's make those a little sharp yeah I said that I didn't think of this before when we started because this would have helped in a lot of situations especially when we did knife cutting and we had those horrible issues with it would just have saved several several modeling tasks made everything everything easier there way easier I just really didn't know of this method before I found out about it uh, recently and I uh, really like how this works allows for way more fluid modeling workflow those sharps rather than done edge splitting edge splitting which results in many problems that yeah okay my cat had to pause to get him at peace to make him make him not do some foolish things okay I think this goes maybe to the bottom yeah probably and uh, this part I could actually actually firstly firstly I could try to understand what is what okay I I just pressed a random vertex and I actually guessed uh, uh, its purpose and selected the right vertex all goes sharp to the end of it and this one as well and uh, what else goes sharp all through there maybe there it could already blend and uh, of course this I think maybe one will level lower yeah one level no yeah this one goes. Okay. and uh, have we got anything else let's see probably not or maybe yeah let's make this a well shot I want it to be shot okay here was actually a lot of things to make sharp now edge split here it gives huge change actually okay and uh, one more thing to do here is of course our task is unwrapping oh what a luck everything here is fine only quads and triangles Um, or maybe not okay oh those triangles can still ruin everything yeah okay so firstly as I told those don't apply paint anyways okay I'm not gonna touch them I'm gonna start off here let's make it that whole type of texture all around here GY.75 GX.25 and it's inverse or 180 
What about this? Oh, x minus point five. What was that? Er, one eighty. Oh, get it. Er, one eighty. Okay. This one actually should go back. G one minus point seven five. G x minus point two five. Okay, and those are 90. Great. Got it here. Um, let's make this point to five. Do we actually here set up wrong? Yeah, we did. Um, G X minus point two five. G Y minus point five. And uh, R90 is it correct? Aspect probably not. Uh, it is, yeah. So, here. Is it proper aspect here? It is, of course. Great. Where else could we actually do something like this? Oh, we've got the round thing here as well. It seems that it's only on one side. About here, I'm not sure. Hmm, interesting. Okay, this is a thing that will fix if I remember to do it. After we have after we have set up all of the UVs including lamps those grill grills and stuff like that only then we're gonna change this so that on one side it's flat for now both both of the sides are gonna contain this let's move this a bit this way to make this plot better for the texture y.75 maybe okay median point of course maybe scale down this a bit to make this circular thing a bit bigger great we've got it we have un unwrapped the paint part of the rear bumper as well and there's not much remaining actually due to some UV sheets at planner where um, we can simply see the remaining parts because they're black. If I disable this, but what does it change? Nothing, okay. Then we still need this better than it's, if it's in it. Okay, so next time we'll probably start with the rear, rear re wings. Wings. We will be wings. Are we actually set up this? Yes, we have. Okay. And once we've got all of it finished, probably next time we can finish wings and even maybe finish roof as well. And uh, then the next time, yeah, the roof. The UVs of the paint part of the roof will be simple, but all of the sharps will be complex. And uh, lastly, we'll do the bottom part and probably we c could actually bake some additional normals for the paint part of it even maybe there's no need but I am still kind of thinking that it would be a good idea however this is it for this time thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed if so don't forget to leave a like and wait for next tutorial 